Coach, can you just talk a bit about the game? And did you like the way your team is heading into this break? I thought we played a great first half defensively. I thought Wayne did a lot of really good things on the backboard as well as offensively, getting much more comfortable. And, uh, I thought all the guys were really good. I thought Peyton made some silly mistakes for a senior point guard, but it, it was okay because you know I think Kevin Ware really played well. I think the front court Montrez played well, so it was a good victory for us. They're a banged up team. We knew that, so we wanted to get after them hard at the defensive end. You mentioned yesterday that Wayne is, is becoming more aggressive. He seemed like he took another step in that direction tonight. He's coming. He's getting better and better. I think that fans and you alike just don't realize what double shoulder surgery is all about. Uh, I think that everybody, fortunately, because I've been in this business so long, I know what one injury could be when you have two injuries. It just takes time, patience. Uh, even even close friends and family members of his didn't understand it. But they do now, and you got to do it the right way, or you, or a person will lose his confidence. Montrez, you're playing him a lot at center. I mean, at this point, do you feel totally confident uh, oh, moving me, forward if, if you need him to play? He, he, he's, he's a very good basketball player, tries hard, doesn't know how to play post-defense, and that's his weakness. But he's very talented, very skilled at certain things. He's got to learn how to pass. He's got to learn how to play post-defense. But he's a freshman. He's learning it. There's no better place to learn it than on the court doing it because practice is one thing, playing in a game is another thing. Were you pleased with the full court pressure in that? It was great. I thought it was great. In the first half especially. Um, I thought Kevin Witt uh, did a lot of really, really good things. I think Russ learned a valuable lesson tonight too. You know, I tried to tell him that the other coaches has won four championships, so on the board he's going to do everything possible to stop Russ Smith. So if you're a veteran in the NBA, the first thing you're going to do is try to get everybody else the ball, get all that scouting off your back, so then you can come alive the rest of the game. But as we say in, in coaching, sometimes it goes win in one ear and out the other ear. And it's somewhere right now in Queens for us. <laughs> so do you feel good about this team going into the Kentucky game, Rick? Or how do you feel about it? I feel very good. I think we have a lot of upside, a lot of improvements to make. Great group of guys. They play really, really hard for me. And, and um, they pay attention. They deserve a good break right now. We will practice tomorrow. And... It was funny because they, they're at training meal and Luke and Peyton are basketball junkies. They're watching with someone else and Stephen Van Trees and they're watching Ohio State, Kansas. I said, guys, Kentucky's on. And they said, that's a bad game. We won't watch a good game. So, you know, that's the mindset. They, they know they're going to get ready for Kentucky at the right time and they will focus in on Western Kentucky. Can you comment a little bit on Kentucky, what you've seen of them so far? I have. I, I, do. I know it just from a, somebody. The only thing I know about them, somebody came to me and said, they got three players projected in the top ten. I said, this is not professional basketball. This is college basketball. I said, we're not worried about what, how they play for the Wizards. We're worried about how they play against Louisville. And he said, no, I was just pointing it out that they got. I said, look, that, that's, that's not going that, to, that's irrelevant in terms of styles for Louisville. And that's the only thing I've heard about them. I, I've not seen them play except one game I saw them play uh, for like ten minutes. That's it. But we'll study them now. We've got, we got a two-day break. And, uh, we want to concentrate on um, a more special person's birthday right now. You're taking, you're, you're getting a team off a couple of days or whatever. But what about yourself? What are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to get ready for Kentucky. I'm going to have um, Christmas with my grandchildren. And um, I'm going to celebrate a person's birthday a lot more important than all of you guys. <laughs> and a lot more important than me. Are, are you? Uh, how pleased are you that this team? It doesn't seem like they let up. Like you know, you got a big lead early on, and there wasn't. I don't think they ever got it closer than. 12. I think I think that comes from a good bench. I think when you have a good bench and you put Kevin in for us, and you don't lose a whole lot, uh, I think that that really helps. But it, if you have tired players and they're giving you everything they can, they start the other team will get momentum. But we didn't have tired players. Any new news on Gorgie? Nope. Next Wednesday, he'll get x-rayed. Um, I'd say it's 50-50. Um, but I'm totally guessing because they'll x-ray it. If they don't see that line, they're going to do a, something now. Rather than x-ray, I guess it's a circular thing that looks at all angles. So, you know, if it's healed, it's healed. If it's not, it's not. So we'll just go with what we have. And, you know, uh, we know that Maryland's Noel is a heck of a shot block and a heck of a basketball player. but. You know, our guys will be up for the challenge. I've got a lot of confidence in this team. You went with Steven then I too. Just the first few minutes. I think I don't want Montrez getting two fouls because then I don't have a substitute power forward as well. Just to, to Steven knows 
what we're doing. He's a veteran. Just get the banging out of the way. Sometimes referees have a tendency to call a lot of things early to set the precedent.